Okay, happy new year folks. Today is the day that I head back to Durham on New Year's Day. Most people would be having a nice meal, doing fun things, but I'm just taking a five hour car journey in the really bright sun. My dad has packed up the car. He's our valet. There's people right there. My mom and I are gonna stay in a spa tonight because why not? And we have a lovely New Year, nice party at my uncle's. Best New Year I've ever had, actually. Happy New Year, Dad. <laughs> oh, it's horrid. Oh, my chocolate spread. How do you feel about the new decade? 2020. Good vision. Is this your sixth decade to live in? Hmm. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. 10s, 20s. It's your 7th decade. 7th decade. And mums. This is the oldest man I've ever met. Really? <laughs> <laughs> My mum just handed me this. Life doesn't get any better. Okay, we've stopped in the oh, services. Coach parking. We're getting a subway. We've been going for almost two hours and we've got a hundred miles to go. Oh, don't pick a uni far away, kids. Exactly. <laughs> you could have just got a back from here and took it down to. Well, I can't have the crispy bit. Oh. Give us a wink. We are back from the services. I had a lovely chicken sweet chili baguette and I got some lip balm. Blistex is crazy. I've had chap lips for so long now so I really hope this cures them because this stuff is lethal. Let's wait if your lips burn. I'm just waiting for my mom. She's gone to the loo. I'm gonna get back on the road in a mo. We have made it. It's a huge place. That building alone is the spa. Then over there you've got the hotel. And then round there you've got the ballroom and the fontaine. Fountain. No, fontaine. F-O-N-T-E-Y-N. I'm not just a weirdo. Um, and then behind us you've got the golf course. So it's a big place. I actually haven't put my stuff in a suitcase. So this is going to be interesting because my stuff is sort of <gasps> free falling. So we've just arrived. This is the room. We have the bathroom in here. And then in here we have dressing gowns, a little tea station. These are the beds. I like the this detail. So beds, this desk. And this is the mini bar, which just has some cool stuff in it, but it's expensive. This is a tea. Oh, mom, it's a Housewives of Cheshire. It's a mirror, a seating area, and then outside we have a swan. You, we're on the ground floor, so we can access the outside. There's the door. And where's. Oh, it's gone. We had a swan outside before, but it's gone. Okay, I'm all ready for the spa. So, our appointment starts in five minuto. I've just spent ages because I didn't think we were actually going to go to the spa. So, I've just spent like an hour shaving because it's winter. So, I was not prepared for a spa trip. Anyway, so we're going to head to the pool, to the sauna, to the steam room, to all these nice things and just relax. Is this going to be our positive day? Because we were watching Housewives of Cheshire. There's Dawn, the Queen. Um, not Hannah, I don't like Hannah. And um, Tanya was having a positivity day, so we're gonna have a positivity evening. Got a modern little touch wristband system. Sorry, there you are. Very exciting. Okay, we're currently in the spa section, just chilling in an onion. If you're an OG, you'll have seen me say that before in Barcelona. But I've been in the steam room, the sauna, the pool, the shower. It's a wild time, are you enjoying yourself? She is. But the jacuzzi's been busy, so we haven't been able to swim in that yet. We probably, probably won't get to go in the jacuzzi. The same people have been in it this whole time. I am back from the spa. I have been for a while, actually. I'm now gonna shower, 
to get all this chlorine. Oh, look at my hair, look at my hair. Some people just don't care. Um, anyway, I'm gonna shower and I'll do a cool transition to when I'm ready for tea. And that is my transformation. It's actually a horrid transformation because when I, I didn't pack a bag for the hotel, I just packed my stuff. So I just had to quickly grab stuff out of the car when we arrived and I didn't really think about what I was grabbing. My outfit's super mismatched. It's black and blue and if anybody hates black and blue, it's me. So anyway, we're gonna go for tea now. There's three restaurants. The first one we weren't a fan of. The second one is fully booked. So now we're heading to the third one, which is the complete other side of the hotel, which is the one I recommended first. Just saying. This food looks so good. I am so excited, but we waited ages for it. It's the next morning. We're about to head on out, head to my house, do a bit of a Tesco shop. Who knows? Who knows what could be ahead for us? We've just been to a pub called The Queen's Head. Very pubbish. I had a Cajun salmon, which I didn't realize they did gluten free fish and chips. They just, it's like you look at it and you think, oh, that's a rough pub. But they actually have loads of gluten free options and it was actually nice, wouldn't you say? Yes. Um, and now we're heading back to the house gonna put out my laundry because I've just done a road a, a load and um, tidy my room so I have arrived in my room sorry for the lighting that will be explained in a minute my mum's just left um well she left maybe about an hour ago I've just been chilling and we've tidied tidied my room which you should see soon because I'll be doing a room tour because it's looking spiffy we got this I got this for Christmas off my godparents and we've put them up and I'm loving them although it doesn't look great on me right now but um they're so cool it's such a hip room okay so it's currently like 1 a.m. I'm just watching um, catching up on some TV. I'm gonna watch an episode of My Mad Fat Diary and then go to sleep and tomorrow I've got the ski trip and I am not prepared at all so we'll see how that goes but yeah I shall see you in about a... no I won't. I'll see you next week. If you enjoy what you see I can't even remember filming anything but if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe okay? I'm not alone